Hey, what's up guys, it's Mars here, and uh, welcome to a side-by-side -side comparison of Diablo 3 on the PC and on the consoles. So you can see on the left is the PC version, the right is the Xbox or console version. Uh, the first thing you'll notice when creating a character, you can actually choose your difficulty, easy, medium, or hard. Um, that's normal for Diablo in a sense, where you have different difficulties, uh, but it, it, it is a new feature that you can choose the difficulties going into a new game. Uh, usually you unlock difficulties going through the game and finishing it, and then you unlock um, progressive kind of new game plus difficulties. Uh, but in this case, they allow you to choose a hard or easy difficulty if you're new or an expert of the game uh, right off the bat. So I found that kind of interesting. Now you'll notice on the console, uh, I'm doing this roll, which I'm not doing on PC. That's because it's actually not accessible on the PC. On the console, they put this roll or um, dodge in, in place because... Um, I found that, I mean, this is the main reason, but I've also uh, found it to be true, is uh, the movement on console isn't as precise as the PC version. Basically, wherever you click on the PC, that's where you'll end up. The PC will walk you to that location, and, um, and you'll stand there. Now, on the Xbox, you actually have to use your thumbstick to, to move around. So, the dodge allows you really to kind of get out of the way of attacks and stuff because um, it's less precise. Now you see um, when you attack an enemy they're highlighted in red on the Xbox version and that gets a little weird when there's many enemies on screen. Um, it, it makes it so it's harder to actually attack the target you're trying to hit and that's really a shame because Diablo is a lot about managing targets and if you can't get the guy you're trying to attack it's going to screw you up, and especially in the harder difficulties, I'm, I'm afraid of how this is going to affect it. So hopefully they've done some stuff to kind of make up for that, but we'll see as it progresses. Um, now you notice on, on the console, this is a wheel. On the PC, it's just kind of an open inventory. You, you can equip. Um, all your gear, all your equipment goes in the same inventory. In this, you have different categories. You have your weapons, then you have all uh, different type of gear. Um, the reason they did that is because it was just easier to manage, uh, but I find it a little bit tiresome because you have to skim through a lot more gear. Like if you have 20 shirts, 20 pants, you have to go to the shirts, you have to go to the pants instead of just seeing it all in one big inventory. So that's kind of, that's kind of tough, um, but they had to make do with what they had and that's what they went with. Uh, now the other thing here are the skills. Uh, as you progress, you, you get a total of kind of six skills, um, and the way it is uh, on the, the console is it's kind of your triggers, uh, your your right bumper, right trigger, then as you can see, the X, Y, B, A. Uh, it'll be the same thing on the, on the PlayStation, uh, where you can use your X, circle, uh, square, and triangle. Um, this, this works well. Uh, it works well as kind of... Actually, I think I prefer it over the, the PC layout because it's harder to stretch your fingers uh, while you're kind of moving around, uh, holding shift and then uh, clicking the one, two, three, four. Uh, so I just like the fact that everything's in a really small location. Uh, you can use your skills whenever you want and it's really easy to kind of uh, get around that. Uh, you see here on the Xbox, I'm having trouble actually killing things. Uh, the reason being is because like I said of that precise movement, uh, it makes it a lot harder to kind of target what you actually want to kill, and um, and that might get kind of painful. We'll we'll see. Um, I don't I don't know. I have my doubts on on how it's going to work. Now I'm going to show you uh, the seller, the damp seller here. On the PC, I have to click this guy. On the Xbox, I auto loot it. So that's one thing that's really cool on the console version, is if you walk over a corpse, it automatically loots it. You don't actually have to press A on it, it will just, you know, if there's a book or, or gold or a potion, it will auto-loot it. So that's really cool, I like that feature. And you automatically pick up your gold, which is the same thing on PC, you don't have to click on that. Uh, but on the console version, which is really cool, is you just actually pick up your um, your potions. You don't actually have to click and, and, and pick them up like that. So that's really cool. It auto loots it. Uh, now the last thing I'm going to show you are the banners and then kind of the challenges. Uh, banners work very the same, uh, but it is the kind of scroll wheel, which is a little bit more difficult to use, like I said, but it works well nonetheless. Um, and then the last thing, 
the lore and everything can be found in your your menus like normal but the challenges are kind of mixed in there with your achievements and your trophies so on the consoles you you have your achievements uh, you have all kind of the challenges that you do have on PC but you also have achievements and they're tied in there uh, you can see the the 10 G uh, for for gamer score and those are mixed in the challenges um, so that's it that's that's the kind of core differences I, I've found uh, if you're a hardcore Diablo fan you might want to stick to the PC version uh, just because that's what you're used to and I've I've put in a ton of hours I've probably put in two or three hundred hours in Diablo on PC and to pick this up on the console and try to get used to it uh, I'm having a hard time like I said it's less precise and um, and though I can live with the UI changes I don't think that really uh, takes away from the gameplay uh, the precise movement will be missed for me uh, but all in all I'm it's still a hell of a fun game. Um, it's really easy to get a game uh, going. You can play up to f kind of four-player co-op, and um, it works really well. You don't have to, to have the always online requirement, so you can actually play kind of split screen with a friend if, you, if you're at home and you don't have the connection to the internet. So it's a great option to, to actually experience the game like that. Um, I will be putting a ton of hours into this, uh, just as I did with PC. And then... Um, the expansion will be coming out as DLC maybe, I hope. That's kind of a speculation there. Uh, I'm looking forward to that once that comes out. I might actually get it over um, the PC version. Like I might get it on Xbox depending how much I like the game the more I play. Uh, I've just put in a little bit of time so far but these are the things I've noticed. I wanted to get this out um, as soon as possible for you guys in case you guys were kind of debating, oh well, okay, Diablo's out. I didn't get it on the PC, I'm going to get it on the console. Um, so this is kind of my, my thought on it. If you have any questions or anything, uh, don't be afraid to kind of leave it in the comments or uh, send me an email, uh, marsman6908 at uh, outlook.com. That will be in the description. And this is Diablo. It's a fun-ass game. Uh, I've had a lot of fun, a lot of hours played into it. And um, I recommend picking it up. It's, it's good nonetheless. Wherever you play it, it's an awesome experience. And... Uh, I hope this has been helpful. So thanks for watching, and uh, sorry for the black screen, but I'll catch you next time. Bye.